We needed to get out of our puffies and into some warm weather, so we looked at the weather map and we came to almost Mexico, basically. If we had our passports with us right now, we probably would be in Mexico. But we saw that the weather was going to be nice, finally in a tank top, and we are in Oregon Pipe Cactus National Monument, and behind me is an Oregon Pipe. The cool thing about this park is there's actually a lot of different cacti and so we're doing the 41 mile loop and we're gonna go check it out and see what cacti we can find and there's some that are in bloom so we're gonna take you guys along for the ride. Before we get too far into today's episode, allow us to reintroduce ourselves for any of you that are new here. We're Dre and Wiley from Sousa Sandals, and we have a lot of interests, including hiking, biking, adventuring, exploring in our van, and spending time with our husky, Maisha. The common thread in our channel is that we just like to do all things related to being outdoors. Now back to today's episode. Oregon Pipe Cactus National Monument today and we are currently on the Puerto Blanco Drive. It's a 41 mile primitive road drive and we're gonna go check it out see what we can see and we figured if we take this one because you are required to have a high clearance vehicle maybe there will be a little less amount of people but so far it's a beautiful day blue sunny skies and we are going to go check out some cactus. Some of them are actually in bloom right now, so hopefully we'll be able to see those and see what else we can find. You could easily enjoy this park by just driving one or both of the loops within the park and see most of the plant life from the comforts of your vehicle. We chose to make two stops along the Puerto Blanco loop to see some springs. Oregon pipe cactus and this is why we're here today we haven't seen any Oregon pipe cactuses anywhere else in Arizona that we've been so far pretty cool I think I might like the saguaros better just because they're a little prettier but still interesting to see all the different kinds of cactus for sure the reason why we haven't seen the Oregon Pipe Cactus anywhere else is because this park is the only place in the U.S. that they grow in the wild. Thirty-one different types of species of cactus live in this region and have had to adapt to extreme heat, intense sunlight, and small amounts of rain annually. We love coming to national parks and preserves. Um, we're a big fan of the National Park Service, but when we travel with Maisha, she can't go in a lot of places with us, so most parks and preserves, dogs can't go on any of the trails. Sometimes it's very rare that they can go on a couple trails. So we A, always make sure that where we're going it doesn't get too hot and B, if it's over pretty much like 65 or 70, we make sure that we always put our window shades in and we have our max fan on and if it's really hot, we'll also open up the back windows. And we have a thermometer in our van and we check the temp before we leave and after we come back and it's always like one or two degree difference. So it is maintaining the temp in the van and it never gets too hot for her. And if it were, to be somewhere that it was way too hot, we just wouldn't leave her in the van and go explore that day. We'd wait until the temperature cooled down before we'd go. So that's something you definitely have to be mindful of if you do travel with a dog. We're gonna do a short hike to Dripping Springs and it's one of the few places that actually has a natural water source. So if we're lucky, maybe we'll see a little wildlife. Definitely 
definitely been a situation where we've been pushed out everywhere we go by cold fronts and cold weather. So Prescott yesterday, 40s to 50 degree weather into the teens at night. Now we drove down to uh, the southern part of Arizona. We're right next to the Mexican border. The town is spelled A-J-O. I don't know if that's Ajo, Arizona, but um, what a difference. So enjoying the 77. Taking a look ar around at some of the different types of plants and all different types of cactus in this national park. This is the prickly pear. We've got the saguaro. Just beyond it, you can see the chain fruit choya. Gorgeous. Teddy bear choya. These are Okatia and they are in bloom. They are not cactus, even though they are prickly and sharp, you would think they are, but they are not. So after a short four tenths of a mile walk, and a little climb there's a natural spring coming out of the mountainside here it's kind of cool unfortunately the bees have found it as well and are enjoying it so I'm not getting any closer than this Just nice to get out after driving. So. Super windy though. Microphone test <laughs> for show. So whenever we do our hikes, we're always on the lookout for wildlife, especially Dre. She's my animal whisperer. Um, today we didn't see too much actually. We saw some big horn sheep poopies, but no, but no big horn sheep. Um, we saw a lizard. And Anything some else? Bees. <laughs> oh, and some bees. Yeah, because when we got to the, the spring, natural spring, with them. It was full of bees. So they must be enjoying that water uh, more than the people. It didn't look drinkable, so wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> it's So when we left, it was 75 degrees, we left the fan on, we left the front window vents in, and it went up one degree the entire time we were gone. So, Which is over an hour. Over an hour. My she's always comfortable. park actually shares 13 miles with Mexico. As far as you can see, a little bit of wildlife here. Cuita Paquita Spring served as a water source for the Tha Na Atham Nation, which are known for creating sophisticated canals and irrigation systems and water storage to farm. The pond was built in the 1860s 
that has a clay liner and is fed by the spring, which is now home to some unique wildlife. Oh, there's a bunch of them. There's one there, one there, one there, one there, one there, one there. I see like so many of those turtles now. They're all walking on the bottom. Thank you so much for watching today's video from our family to yours. We wish you a wonderful holiday. We look forward to getting outside with you in the new year.